are you doing today? I wanted to encourage you because, you know, honestly, when you look around the world and we've been going through all this quarantine and all this disease and all this sickness and then all the financial stuff and all of our children are disheveled and we're all stuck at home, isolated and all these things are going on and it just, you're wondering, can this get any worse? When can I just get back with my friends? When can I give my neighbor a hug? When is my life gonna get back to normal? And, and you're sitting there and, and, and you're just waiting this thing out and everybody's kind of at the end of themselves when bam, right here in our own country, tragedy, horrible decisions. And the next thing you know, um, you know, everything is just escalated and it's just one thing after the next. And then you've got the politicians, blah, 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 blah. This side's against this side and this side's against this side. And you're thinking, where in the world are we going to all end up? What's going on here? Praise the Lord that God is the one that promotes and God is the one that puts down. I'm telling you right now, I was in a conference a year and a half ago and Paula White was talking about this great paradigm shift that was occurring and that what was going to happen was everything that you knew as normal was no longer going to be normal anymore, but it was going to be for the benefit of the church. It was going to be such a shift and all of a sudden, you know, it was going to be powerful and amazing. And um, then after that happens, one thing after the next, after the next starts occurring. And so you're like, what, what's going on? I thought this was supposed to come out good for us. And it is. This is all the enemy, the smoke screen, the, all the stuff. He's trying to get us discouraged. He wants you to feel isolated. He wants you to feel alone. He wants you to feel unloved. He wants you to feel like nobody's listening to you. He wants you to feel like you don't have a purpose. There's not a plan. You know, why are you even hanging on here anymore? Listen, that's what the enemy wants to do. But I'm telling you, his best is not good enough because God is the one that promotes. God is the one that decides what's going to happen in our lives, not man. You know, uh, we're not, our faith is not in man. And one wonderful thing that I love about the Word of God is in Acts 10.34, it says, Peter opened his mouth and he said, Of a truth I perceive, God is no respecter of persons. You know, um, it tells us that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And when the, when the wicked bear rule, uh, you know, we're all miserable. I believe right now, this season, God is going to take every wicked person that is in authority over us right now and remove them out of authority over us. He is going to exalt the righteous and put them in places of authority in every realm, not just in politics, although we desperately need that. But in every realm, God is promoting the righteous and removing the wicked out of authority. The church is going to be powerful and strong and whole and unified and functioning the way that Jesus Christ died to provide for us to be able to function. I tried to record this over and over and over and I just couldn't get it in a minute. This is my minute message and I couldn't do it so I had to go a little long today. But I want you to know God hears your prayers. You have not lost. You are not alone. You are loved. God is going to continue to do what he's planned for your life. Just stand. St just keep praying. Keep believing. Just be encouraged today. And God is going to do it. We're going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Amen.